Hey, you beautiful. Hi, sorry, my Wi-Fi on my phone, really not in the best. <laughs> Girl, don't worry about it. How are you, gorgeous? I'm good. How are you? Good. You look super cute. Are you excited you. for your premiere tomorrow of Stella in the Space? I am. I am. <laughs> I'm so ready for people to see it already, and I kind of miss watching it, too, so, like, I want to see it. <laughs> right. Right. This premiered um, first last year at Sundance, and it was a huge hit. Mm -hmm. Was that your first Sundance experience? Or no, that was my second. I had okay. went to the Sundance the year before that, okay. but that was, like, my first time having, like, my own film there. So mm -hmm. exciting. <laughs> I, I love the movie, by the way. It's Thank like, you. It's, like, for me, it's, like, a Gossip Girl or 90210, but for us. For <laughs> yeah. Place, you yeah. know what I mean? It's definitely it is, that. It is. <laughs> yes. So, okay, let's get into the movie. So, there are five mm -hmm. factions, but clicks, yes. if you will, right? Yes. Clicks. And you're Sella, you're the head <laughs> of the spades, and you're like a boss, alpha. You don't yes. <laughs> Tell us all about your character and how you got into playing such a um, bossy. Not playing no games type of girl. Tell us how you got into character. Okay, so the whole reason I was attracted to Cello was because I saw a lot of who I wanted to be in her. Like, <laughs> ooh, like, she does what she wants. She's not no letting nobody sway her. Like, she sets boundaries from, like, the jump. Yes. So, like, I was already just like, ooh, I want to do that. I want to embody that. So I kind of just went into it already ready to be transformed and then I realized I have so many like similarities to her so yeah. then I felt like even more in love with like playing her and like because at first you don't really think that you're like someone like off jump because it's kind of like the the initial personality is like hmm I'm calm she's wild I'm nice she's like mean but then you realize you can have a lot of the same tendencies and you can have a lot of the same thoughts. You guys just kind of like express it differently. And I love that about Stella because she just does it so differently and she does it without like any care for anyone really. And I've never really been that way. <laughs> so you got to let go of Lovey and like tap into your character fully. Yeah. And Tyresha was like a big help too. Yeah. Because she had already... Stella was very developed before I was even involved. So mm -hmm. I just was exploring her and understanding. <laughs> Tell us about that. Tyresha, the, this was her first feature as well. Tell us as about how, what direction did she give you for you to like fully go there? Because I'm going to get into it a little bit later, but your monologues where you're talking directly to the screen, mm -hmm. the camera, I really love those. But tell us what direction she gave you to allow you to be free. Okay, well, the way she directs and the way that I act just, like, blend so well together. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the type of person that, like, needs to take it personal. Like, I need to be, like, put in a situation, like, mentally in order for me to know, like, how I'm going to react, right. you know? So Tyrese is, like, the type, of per the type of director that's going to sit you down before the scene and be like, okay, like, you're, you're in this situation and this is everything that led up to it. Like, how do you feel? Don't tell me just sit there I'm gonna roll and say action and show me and I'll be like okay and that's so fun to me like yeah. I love like just being able to do stuff like that and creating that way mm -hmm. so pleasant <laughs> yes Le well you did it excellently excellent <laughs> uh, what do you think the movie's message is I think the movie's message is to treat control mm -hmm. like a bar of soap you know, the more you try and get a hold of it and, and, and hold on tight to it, the more of a chance it has of slipping out of your hands. That's yes. literally what Stella goes through. That's literally yes. what I feel everyone goes through at some point in their lives, if not the whole time. <laughs> right. Yeah. So speaking of those scenes, the monologues, like when mm -hmm. it first opens up and you're talking directly to the screen, was that improvised or was, were those lines written for you? Was it a script or uh -huh. just... Tell and us I'm going to tell you something. Okay, tell us. <laughs> so, when I, okay, that was all scripted. 
like every single word was scripted that was like two and a half maybe three pages of like just me like just talking and the day before that scene I didn't have work I remember because this really scarred me I didn't have work so I was like I'm gonna relax I'm gonna have a nice day I'm gonna write in my journal I'm gonna take a bath yes I get in bed around like 10 and I'm like all right I'm gonna go and see my sides for tomorrow I go and check and I'm like wait a second (laughs) Wait a second. You're telling me that I have to talk for about two minutes. Right. Just you and the I don't camera. Know I, and then I pulled it off and I was like, lovey, you do so well under pressure. <laughs> you pulled it off beautifully. Seriously. But it's also because like I really love that speech too. Cause it was so it was easier for me to like memorize it because like I felt that way. So it was like, oh, I yeah, this these are my words too. <laughs> right. It makes you, sense. Were you nervous at all playing the lead in this film? Because this was your first leading role, right? In a film. Yeah, but I wasn't nervous. I, I think I'm blessed in a way because that experience, it wasn't like what I thought it was going to be. Like at first I was extremely overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, like I'm going to be the lead of a movie. I'm going to be in like most of the scenes. Like right. I'm going to have all to do so things. much. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of the times the leads are like, you look to the leads and you're like, dang, you're stressed out. Mm-hmm. But then I got to the set and it felt just like, like a group project. Like we were all just like working on like our craft and like putting it towards like our children that we were like making. So like, I loved that because it was no pressure. It was all just like chill. <laughs> I love chill experiences that allow me to just express. <laughs> and be, right? Yeah. Be. yeah. yeah. <laughs> High school politics are on full display <laughs> in this movie. Was this at all, like, your experience from high school? Did you go through this? Okay. Not at all. Um, I was, uh, I've always been an introvert, so I was very to myself in high school. I had, like, my little small group of friends, but that was it. People knew of me, but they didn't really know me, so. I was very much like Paloma. If Paloma didn't get into the faction life, that was me. (laughs) I love that. Yeah. Um, I love when um, you say in your opening monologue, when you're a 17 year old girl, you've got the whole world telling you what to do with your body. Very powerful words. It made me think of, you know, me when I was 17, because you do have mm-hmm. everybody kind of telling you how to be what to wear. Like you say in the monologue, okay, dress is too short, your, your legs are too big. Did you experience that? being told being growing up in the public eye at a young age? Did you experience being told how to be what not to do, you need to look this way, you need to be that way? Most definitely. Uh, (laughs) I've I've always been um, a rebel of a sort. Mm -hmm. So like, I growing up in a in a a black household as a a woman, you know, your parents don't really expect to see you with like underarm hair, like leg hair, or like, that's a big no no. And like, you got to dress a certain way. And I've always been the kid that's like, listen, I'm gonna be free. (laughs) Right. And do me. (laughs) Yeah. So that's also like another like, way I'm like, Sella, you know, Mm -hmm. like, she's I love her in that way. Like, I'm not going to stop being me because I'm not for consumption at the end of the day. (laughs) And that's a good message to send to, you know, young girls. Because I feel it's a very Gen Z movie. So a lot of kids are out of school. So they'll watch it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, And I feel like that's a good message for them to get. You know, you don't And I can't wait for people to see, like, more of the movie, too. Because I feel like a lot of people are thinking from that monologue that, you know, oh, just because, like, uh, she wants like short skirts because of this whole like feminist thing but it's not it's not just about like what I'm talking about it's like you have to understand like the feelings behind like what I'm saying because at the end of the day Sela is like with relationships everybody's disposable at the end of the day you know so it's kind (laughs) of like yeah so it's not even for like that gratification or anything it's literally for self (laughs) love it so will Stella in the space be turned into a series? I feel like there's more to these characters that we need to know about. We need to like <laughs> we need to unpack you, your mother, which is played by the beautiful Gina Torres. Mm-hmm. We need to unpack <laughs> the characters a little bit more. Are, is there a series coming? There is a series, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in it only because it what? does like I don't I'm not sure where it's gonna like take place because I know Stella was a senior graduating, so mm-hmm. but hopefully. I get to, you know, make a little cameo, a little appearance. <laughs> now, it's no Stella in the space without you now. Come on now. <laughs> oh, my God. So, 
let's get into it because everybody in the comments are like, can we get on to Green League, please? Yeah, I'm looking at the few like Laura. Can we get to the real? Okay, so <laughs> we watched you and Zora on Green yeah. League. You were a rebel. You've been a rebel out there. You've like gone against the grain there yep. for four <laughs> seasons. But am I hearing it right? You're not coming back for the fifth season, or are you coming back? Greenleaf is coming back in June. What about you? I am coming back. Okay, that's what we want. Yes, to I am yes. coming back. <laughs> yes. So you guys have already shot season five, or yes. oh, yes. that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So everybody, they're gonna be excited. Listen, season five. <laughs> oh, oh, <Lord. laughs> I. I for because I forgot because it's been a while, so mm -hmm. I forgot everything that happened, mm -hmm. and then I thought about it like when they posted, and I was like, "Yay!" Like it's coming back in June, and I was like, "Oh, like everyone is about to be on it because oh, wow, yeah." Is there a date in June, or is it just June? Do we have a date? Or uh, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't want to spread don't rumors. Spoil it. <laughs> okay, don't spoil it. Um, speaking of Greenleaf, you work with a lot of legends on the show, and I mm -hmm. have to ask you, what's your relationship with Miss O? Does she, <laughs> has she given you any, like, specific advice, life advice, career advice? What's it been like with working with her? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't see her, like, too often, but, like, when I do see her, it is pleasant. Um, she doesn't. I mean, a lot of the talks that we have are just normal, you okay. know, like just like regular conversations. So a lot of like the things that I take away from her is, will be like in like the way that she talks or right. like, like how she carries herself, like how she handles stress. Because like a lot of the times when I'm outside, I like to see how people handle their stress, their stress and stuff, especially people that I know probably go under a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, just to see and kind of get a little blueprint to life. But and it, that's. That's so true because uh, the saying, you're, people are always watching you, so you never know, like, what you may, what message you may be sending. Yeah. Like, and Stella sure is very big on that. Like, yes. Stella is very big on that. Mm hmm Yeah. Yes. Okay. Upcoming projects, ma'am. You're booked and busy. Yes. <laughs> so, Greenleaf is in June, right? Yes. Um, Stella in the space is tomorrow. Yes. Power Book 3. <laughs> yes. And then The Craft. Bloomhouse, the craft. what you're you're working and a book and your YouTube channel. Let yeah, <laughs> and also all rise. I want to talk to you a little mm -hmm. bit about that film. Is that film coming to? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure uh, when that is planning on coming out. Okay, it, it should be. I'm I'm not too sure on that whole situation. <laughs> okay, okay, but let's talk about Power Book Three. So have you, that's exciting. Congratulations yes, thank on that. You, thank you. Are you excited about that? Yes, I am very yeah. excited. Tell um, us a little bit about your character, who you'll be playing. My character, her name is Davina. Uh, she plays the love interest for younger Kanan. Okay. Um, and that's all I feel I can say right now. But her, my character is very complex. I love characters who have reason and like, who have like a mad uh, a method to their madness? So I love this journey. That you will. <laughs> so you will blow us away as you always do. <laughs> Thank um, you. The craft that's exciting as well. Um, yes. Was that something that you want a project that you were interested in doing, or how did that come to be? When I auditioned for the craft, mm -hmm. I knew I was gonna get it. I knew I had to. Now. Like, I knew I had to, you know? Right. Because, like, I am so into, like, feminism, and I'm so into witchcraft, and I'm so into, like, feminine forms of healing, and right. I'm into, like, sisterhood. So, like, that movie was just, like, yelling at me. <laughs> and I couldn't, like, turn that down. So, like, when I auditioned, I was like, I have to get this, and even if I didn't get it, I got it. So it's fine. <laughs> But I love, I loved filming that, like filming with like women like that have completely different backgrounds like than you and like you guys just like 
kind of living together it was so amazing because like I'm not used to having like a lot of close girlfriends you know like when I got Greenleaf it was like my senior year of high school so like I didn't go to college a lot of the people like that I was hanging out with were like older so like now that I did like sell in the spades and share and like the craft is coming out like I love that I'm showing like the the friendships that I definitely want to like have in real life you know like relationships that go through stuff but like have foundation (laughs) do you feel like green leaf or um I would say green leaf do you feel like that was because you say you didn't go to college do you feel like (laughs) your education if you will no I definitely say that that was my four-year education (laughs) um I I want to be an actress you know so I feel like I was lucky to not just go to school but actually get like firsthand experience like in the craft like now I kind of know how to maneuver around a set and like I know what things mean and I probably wouldn't have gotten like that much education if I was just like in front in a classroom like listening to a teacher like talk about just acting especially because I feel like acting for me like I don't know if I can like I, I take I take advice, yeah, but a lot of my acting, like, I have to feel it first, you know? Like, nothing is, like, fake. It's like, okay, how do I feel it? And then I can be authentic about it, yeah. (laughs) Definitely. Um, You're writing a book, I hear, about your life? Yes. Yes, I am. (laughs) Okay, tell us about it. What's the book? Um, Well, okay, so the the book that I'm writing called Mm -hmm. Hummingbirds and Dragonflies is basically just about, like, me losing myself you know, because that usually happens around the graduating time, Mm -hmm. and then the process of the pain, and then the finding myself, so it's gonna be kind of long, I do, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to drop, like, short stories first, before Mm -hmm. I, like, finish and publish this book, and if I want it to be, like, something, like, I kind of really, like, work on throughout time, like, kind of, like, making my baby, because, like, I do want to, like, share, like, this world that I'm living in in my head because I'm like very introverted I'm very Pisces rising so like I love it have like this whole thing going on (laughs) I love it talk to us about your YouTube channel because in the midst of everything you're an influencer too (laughs) so you're like influencing the culture we get to see you on TV you're I I didn't even know I didn't even know that I was influencing the culture because when I first got my YouTube when I first got my YouTube I don't know. It was for fun. You know, Mm -hmm. I was, like I said, like, I was in my four-year, you know, college. So I was like, okay, I want to find something else to do that I'm passionate about. And I was very passionate about makeup for Black girls at that time because I was going through a lot of stuff in the industry where people didn't really know my face, like, how I knew it. Right. And I was also doing hair because, like, also, again, I was on sets where I had to fend for myself because they were not going to do what they were planning on doing to my edges you know and (laughs) yeah so like a lot of that stuff like I had to learn like and it was like I enjoyed it so I was like hey I'm gonna just like drop a little one-two video I also like started to vlog but I stopped and I I don't know I I do want to start picking back up on my YouTube channel and be a little more consistent especially now that like there's a lot of time right yeah (laughs) But that's okay. You have time to do it. You're you're booked and busy. Thank you so much, Lovey, for talking to us. Thank you. Tell the people where they can watch the movie tomorrow because it's good and everybody that's on here yes. needs to watch it. Everybody, you can watch Selling the Spades tomorrow on Amazon Prime if you and feel we, like it. <laughs> and we can catch you in June on Greenleaf. Season yes, five. Greenleaf in June. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lovey. All the blessings to you. You as well. Thank you so Bye. much. Of course, guys.